This video will explain how to access your feedback and marks for a Turnitin assignment. If you have questions about your feedback or need help to understand it, you can ask your lecturers, your personal tutor, or your school's student support and guidance tutors for help. The first three and a half minutes of this video show the steps for accessing and reviewing your feedback. The final minute shows how you can export your feedback to PDF. I'm going to show you two routes to get to your feedback and marks. Up first is via the My Marks page. Step one, go to the assessment and marks area in your module. Step two, scroll down the page and select the link with the title, Accessing your marks and feedback in My Marks. The link will take you to the My Marks page. Step three, you will see your numerical mark on the right hand side of the page if it is available. To access your feedback, select the submission title, which will be shown in a blue color. On the next page, scroll down to the feedback from instructor area. As for some assignments, there may be a document attachment there for you to review. In my case, there is no attachment, so I'm going to move on to step four by selecting my paper to access my submission in the Turnitin Feedback Studio where my feedback and marks have been placed. I'll come back to this view shortly. Now for the alternative route to your feedback, which is via the Turnitin submission point where you originally submitted your work. Step one, go to the assessment and marks area in your module. Step two, scroll down to the assessment submission points folder and select it. Step three, find the submission point where you originally submitted your work and select view complete. We are now on the page for this submission point. Step four, select the view button to access your submission with your feedback and mark in the Turnitin Feedback Studio. Step five, review any annotations which have been placed on your submission by your instructor. You can find out which instructor placed the annotation by hovering over it. Use a single left click or a single press to view the written feedback in the annotation. In my case, my instructor has given me some useful information about writing style, which I can use to improve my work next time. You should read each annotation in your paper, and you can return to this feedback any time that you need to review it. I'm turning on the page navigation and locking it in place. I am also zooming out a bit, using the viewing tools on the bottom right to make sure that I don't miss any annotations. To hide the page navigation, press the padlock, then press the tab. Step six. Check instructor feedback by selecting the speech bubble button. This feedback area provides important information explaining how well you have met the assessment task or tasks and criteria. In my case, my instructor has used the three plus three approach. So there are three things that I have done well and three things for me to improve upon. Make sure that you scroll all the way down to the bottom so that you don't miss any overall comments from your instructor. Step seven. If a rubric has been attached, the View Rubric button will be shown above the text feedback from your instructor. Select this button to see how well you have met each of the learning outcomes or criteria. To exit the rubric, close the window when you have finished. Step 8. Select the Download button and the option for Current View if you want to create a PDF of your submission and feedback. This is useful if you want to share your feedback so that you can get advice on your writing or ask questions. If you would like to customize the PDF, for instance, you do not want to include the similarity report, then you can use the button which looks like a sandwich to turn off the similarity report layer and then use the download button and the current view option to create a new PDF. When you save the PDF, it will have the same name as the file that you originally submitted so it is a good idea to rename it. To exit the Turnitin Feedback Studio view, close the window. If you have any questions about your feedback and marks, please contact your instructors. If you experience technical issues when trying to access your feedback and marks, contact the Information Services Service Desk. You can reach them via email at servicedesk at brighton.ac.uk or phone on 01273 64 Four, 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 four. Thanks for watching.